Welcome back to Museum Diaries. It is June 15th, Saturday in 2019. We have been working on these cabinets. They look really good. We did a whitewash. We are in the process of remodeling our kitchen. This tile here is going to go. It's all going to be gone. And we'll have a stainless steel sink. And we'll have black granite. So that will be gone. What we've been doing in the meantime is taking apart all the doors to the cabinets. And Veronica stepped in and did the painting, the TSP of these. She, she scrubbed them clean and then repainted with the whitewash. And I'm doing that with the doors. And I'll show you the doors right now. You can do some long shots of me. So what I did here was I took the doors apart, obviously, and I spray painted the hinges in white because when I go over these with whitewash, you're not going to tell the difference. And you want it to all blend in as nice as possible. So coming over to my little workstation here, you'll see where I lay on the first two coats of whitewash. And then once this is done, I will flip these over and I'm holding these with these cones that I purchased online. And I use quite a few to keep them all balanced so I can paint. And when this is done, I'll be flipping them over to do the next part. This is what I'm using right here. Whitewash with stain. So what I'll be doing next, once I flip the cabinets over, the cabinet doors, I will be applying the first coat of whitewash. And I'm going to show you how I do this. What's interesting is we went with one brush to begin with, and I went shopping for something a little different and I found this brush, it was like a $3 brush and I found that the coat for the whitewash, first coat, even the second coat went on just as good. So we went ahead and went with this brush and this is the first coat. You gotta get in those cracks. And once you get in those cracks, then you can start spreading out your paint, like such. And you get to be even and consistent with your strokes, so... So it blends in with the grain. Just like that. So that is pretty much the first coat on this door right here. And the next time we tune in, I will be showing you the demolition of the tile and the installation of the Premier Block stone slab. We purchased two of those slabs which run us close to $2,200. So a couple times a week, Veronica and I like to barbecue. And we like to have our dinner over the grill as opposed to the dinner over the stove. And today I got some steaks and some chicken breasts. 
I'm going to turn these over. Cover them up and let them cook for a little while. Work in the kitchen. So today is June 17th, Monday, and we're having our kitchen, kitchen counters demolished. This is what it's looking like after the tiles come off. I took the plumbing apart for the sink, but this is the mess that is created from taking all the tile off. Frank, you're working very hard back here. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is what it's looking like. And then once all this is taken off, all this tile, we'll have granite. And we ordered premium, premium black granite from India. So this kitchen is going to look very beautiful once it's done. We already did the whitewash cabinets. And it looks great in here. I'm really happy with the way the whitewash turned out. And we'll see you a little later. So this is what the kitchen looks like now with some of the work done. The tiles have been removed, obviously. That's where they once were. And they had to install this plywood because this is what the granite countertops is going to sit on. And that's natural stone. And it's pretty heavy, so um, yeah. So still more work to be done before we get the countertops in. I'll be checking in with you later on in the day when this has been taken apart. And I'll let you know what's going on. Here's the kitchen now after the demolition of the tile, the backsplash and the countertops and all the plywood's been put in. And this is to reinforce and be a supportive base for the granite that's coming in. And this cabinet right here was actually a little bit shorter than this part. So if you can see here, there's two pieces of plywood or of wood. I don't think this is plywood here, but there's two pieces of wood that went into raising this about maybe an inch and a half high so that it's flushed with this countertop. When the granite goes on, it'll all be flushed. So, this is it. We're excited to be getting premium black countertops, granite, and those were shipped from India on containers overseas. And this week, after this video, you'll be seeing some of the work being done with this granite. The only thing I have left to do is go in here and replace these because this one right here is actually out, so I need to replace that. And all the other old ones, I'll be replacing this one with a new one. And this outlet as well. I'll be taking care of this, but I'll have to shut the power off first. So alright, I'll see you the next time we're working on the granite. It is now June 22nd, Saturday. All the painting's been done. We're going to have the countertops installed today. We changed the color of the wall here. It used to be a beige. It's now a light gray. And then we went ahead and took care of the ceiling as well. So, in a few minutes here, I will show you the installation of the black granite countertops.
so there's a problem we had with the sink and I couldn't fit it onto the granite because the corners here, see this corner? See how it's bent? I couldn't get that to sit flush and it's defective on the granite. And the other corner over here, it's also bent. So we had to order a new sink. This one's going back. I ordered a new Kohler sink. This is the brand. And I'm going to open this up and see and hope that this sink isn't damaged. So, let's open this up. Let's take a look at the sink. Oh, shoot. I opened it the other way around. Oh, this is just great. <laughs> Okay, I have to flip this box around, so give me a second. Okay, there's a new sink. It's a Kohler Takata model. And I'm hoping that we don't have damage on the sink like we did the one before that. And this corner looks really good. This corner, perfectly fine. Third corner of the sink, perfectly fine, no dents. And the last corner of the sink, perfectly fine. Excellent. Oh my goodness. Okay, let the work begin. Okay, so what I need to do next is, is place the faucet that's going to be used with the sink onto the sink. And I have these from removing the faucet on the old sink that I will be using because it's a fairly new faucet on this sink. Put those there for now. And this is the faucet. I'm going to go ahead and install this like so. And here's a sprayer. So I need to do now, what I do need to do is screw this on tightly and secure it onto the sink. So what I'm doing now is screwing these on to secure the faucet to the sink. Let me do these real quick and I'll be back in a second. Here I am at the sink location. I'm using 100% silicone, waterproof. 20 year mold and mildew resistance, 30 minute water ready. So what I need to do is cut the tip and then place this in the, the silicone gun to get this ready, okay? Here's your silicone gun. You wanna make sure it's retracted back and you slip the silicone in like that. Then you start Pressing on it to get your silicone up. Okay, so there's the sink. I need to drop in the um, the duo strainer, and it's also a Kohler. And this is the disposal flange, which is also a Kohler to match our Kohler sink. So these two have to go on, 
and I will be using silicone because it lasts so much longer than the plumber's putty. So this is the next step before I connect the plumbing. Okay, so I went ahead and put silicone around it and I'm going to go ahead and place it into the sink. This should sit cooler. Okay, wipe it off. Wipe off the excess. Should hold. That's pretty on there, pretty tight. That's how you put the uh, garbage disposal on. It's tight. Okay, so one of the last things left to do is I had to put in these um, electrical outlet extenders because of the granite, the thickness of the granite, these won't reach in there anymore, so I had to order these. Um, and put them in place so I can install these okay so what we're gonna do here is I needed longer screws to fit there properly so I went ahead and ordered a box of two inch screws And these are long enough to fit inside there. So we'll have to take these out because these aren't going to do anything for us. So once you get the extender in there, make sure you tighten it up. Okay? Try and tighten them up evenly. So in case you guys are wondering what these extenders are that I'm using, that's what these are. It's a PVC box extender and these are used over your outlets when you install granite or tile granite. Because of the thickness, it's able to go in so you can properly secure your outlets when you start running out of room. So that's what these are. Okay, so I had to come to the back of the house and go into the circuit breaker. And this is to get our power back on. Everything's labeled for us, which is nice. So all we have to do is just hit the power switches for the breakers back on and we're good. Close the box, secure it, and that takes care of it. Okay, so this is what they look like. They've all been installed. All the plate covers to the outlets. One, two, and three and this is what our kitchen looks like and then we got to organize it some more but uh well, i was finally able to get all the plates in there i was able to cover that it used to be an old phone line and uh Show them we upgraded the some of our appliances our stainless steel Show them the window area that i had to do the knives and bread holder and we had to repair the wall because tile was once glued on this wall, so we had to smooth that out. We're going to paint that next. And then I had an issue with the plumbing. I took the plumbing, plumbing apart, but um, because of the way the water pipe comes out, the drain from the wall, if you can see that angle right there, it's not coming straight out. It was a hard time. I had a hard time working with that angle, so... I ended up hiring a plumber. I actually ended up purchasing this piece from Home Depot, actually from Lowe's. And 
I was short a few pieces and I said, you know what, I'm going to have to call the plumber. But I was able to get the garbage disposal in there. So. It had to be custom plumbing for this place. Yes. Because it was, custom it was plumbing. old plumbing and um, we had to update. But it got done. Yes. And our kitchen looks great. So thank you all for watching this segment of Museum Diaries. Our kitchen remodel was, it was fun and it was a lot of work. So if you're get into that type of work for your own home just know you're going to have your work cut out for you and if you're looking at getting your cabinets refinished you'd save money if you do it yourself which we and did kudos to you but uh kudos to youtube for putting on yeah, the how-to videos definitely youtube um it was the best. we gotta do some cleaning up youtube our favorite channel was able to teach me everything that I've learned and thanks to YouTube our kitchen looks fabulous. Alright, we're out and we'll see you in the next Museum Diaries. Thanks for watching.